so hey guys welcome back to the daily sugis live so today's video is going to be a little bit different for you users so i recently bought this new gaming monitor lg uh, and the first problem i faced during the setup is when like in if in normally it is 144 hertz monitor when you see is there is no lag and here is also no lag but when you when you close your main screen then i'm going to show you if you use for some times and again back to this screen sometimes sometimes later it will starting a lag okay so yeah see uh, uh, let me show you perfectly uh i don't know guys uh, sorry for the video quality because i am recording from my phone and so you guys can uh, understand the difference that i am uh, recording it is in 1080p 60 fps so you guys can better get a view you guys can see the lag i am having so guys so first of all you have to do i think i am recording my screen so you can uh, i will also attach the my recorded screen so firstly you have to go to the device manager then after going to the device manager go to the display adapters display adapters the first one is intel uhd graphics and the second one is nvidia geforce gtx 1660 yeah, that was my graphics card and the our hdmi port is connected to the this nvidia graphics card this intel uhd graphics card is our laptop's main display so here it is my laptop's display so what we have to do is we have to disable it disable the device uh, this will uh, this will disable uh, temporarily disable our main main laptop screen and make this secondary display our main main display so here i am going to disable it click on yes so so yeah guys here you can see the difference and this is a uh, this becomes my new new screen so guys this what going to make make it this going to make uh, this screen main screen so now if you close the your laptop's lid then it will won't affect much see there is no lag between the screens see let me show you see guys there is no lag now if you play the games i i have tried many few things like let me search see the scrolling it is the scrolling is also very uh, smooth but while if if you are in uh, in the normal position it is not so smooth uh, you guys are going to notice that's why you are searching it on a youtube so this is the solution guys it is i have the asus laptop so it is working on that uh, i think this is the this is going to work for uh, everyone's uh, laptop and uh, specifications because it doesn't matter it is a universal solution for my self i guess so guys uh, before that you are going to do one thing also like see if if you have disabled already then don't forget to enable it because if you don't enable it then when you when you disconnect your main monitor and if you go out out without the monitor and just take your laptop and when you when you press your uh, turn on button then you are going to see only a black screen because it is not your uh, main screen now so don't forget to enable it because if you don't enable it you are going to mess you are going to in a real mess situation because if there is no turn back after you have you forget to uh, enable it why yes uh, until you connect with the second monitor but yes don't forget solution this is the best solution i have got and i am making this video to help you guys because you also make uh, purchase the new monitor and you are having such issue and you feel like you that's your monitor's issue but be aware of that that's your graphic laptops uh, 
built-in issue that we have normally having a glitches so 